Hey guys, so welcome to your uh, bonus lovely for Sagittarius. This is going to be for the rest of your January 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Uh, we are going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. You may switch goals if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Sagittarius people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on uh, when my new videos post them when i go live also if you guys are interested in following me on tiktok instagram the links for those are in the description box below also if you guys are interested in following me on my other youtube channel that's dedicated solely just to my travels the link for that is also in the description box below all right so tell me about sagittarius Sagittarius in love and the person that they're connecting with for the rest of their January 2024. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Sagittarius. For Sagittarius. High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces here. Six of Swords. I feel like someone here is silently walking away from somebody here or silently moving on. Yeah, I, I feel like there's a situation where I feel like things might not be working out too well here, okay? Um, let's see, we have the two, three of Pentacles here and the Two of Cups. I'm going to pull more cards here. Seems like you're dealing with a soulmate here. Yeah, I feel like someone here is really disappointed in a situation here with somebody here. I almost get the feeling like uh, nothing is really changing here. Some here is get, still like consistently getting disappointed over and over and over again uh, with someone that you've been dealing with here for a while. And I just feel like so someone here is just like, you know what, I'm just going to silently bow out here because nothing is coming up the coming of the the situation things aren't working out we're not on the same page here you guys do have a strong soulmate connection a strong past life soulmate connection here uh we have the high priestess here and the king of swords we have the uh six of swords here and the page of wands there's definitely a bit of a maybe a, a maturity level difference or age difference between you guys we have the king of swords here libra aquarius gemini and the page of wands here aries leo sag the thing is, I feel like you guys are both looking for different things. I feel like someone here is just not really ready to commit yet, ready for a real serious relationship, and then someone is. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I just feel like you're totally, totally done with this here, uh, Sagittarius. You're tired of the, the betrayals here. You're tired of things not changing. You know, you're tired of this kind of like this loop that you're caught in with this individual here with the Wheel of Fortune here. This person does consistently come back over and over and over and over again, but nothing really changes. Yeah, this person hasn't really taken any action to change. You know, and I feel like a lot of the energies that you guys have accumulated, all the issues that you guys have accumulated, a lot of it hasn't really been released or resolved yet. Yeah, so I feel like you just rather bow out than actually work on this because you don't even know where to start at this point. We have the hangman, Piscean energy. Tell me about the person that Sagittarius is dealing with here. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Sagittarius? What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Sagittarius for the um, rest of their January 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Four pentacles here and the emperor. This could be a same-sex couple. This could be a karmic here or a past life or a past life soulmate connection. I do feel like in the past life, like one like one of you guys was, was like a parent and then the other one was a child. Like I feel like you guys might have a 
uh, parent-child-like dynamic here. Yeah, I feel like this is you that, where you're trying to release this person here. You're cutting this out. You have nothing more to give here, uh, Sagittarius. Okay, Queen of Wands here and the Eight of... Yeah, I just feel like this person... You feel like this person's just too much work here. You feel like this person's too much work here. You know, and you feel like you're realizing that you can't love this person to the point that they are actually going to make changes here because in, in, in reality, you know, the change that this person might be seeking or will seek in the future, it really comes from them, you know? So I feel, I feel like you're realizing that you can't love this person until they change, you know? And that you're realizing that you only can love this person from a distance here. Yeah, there's no reconciliation here. You're just coming to this realization or having this breakthrough that, okay, you know, I'm seeing things for what it is. I'm realizing that I can't force someone to change when they're not when they're not ready to change yet. So I'm just gonna distance myself from this person, do my inner work here, you know, heal, do what I have to do to get by, sort of thing here. The Queen of Wands and the Five of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles here, and the Justice card. Looking more and more like a karmic here. Seems like this connection was really intense. Yeah, seems like this connection was really intense, and I feel like. You know, I feel like, you know, I feel like you're seeing the takeaways of this situation here and I feel like you're learning. You know, I feel like you're learning a lot here. Libra energy with the Justice card and Five of Swords here. There's just too much games here. Yeah, too much games here. Uh, what else do we have here for Sagittarius? What else does Sagittarius need to know, look out for, work on when it comes to this love situation for um, the rest of the January 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. I also feel like this person doesn't want you to give up on them. The problem is they're not really making any sort of effort to change or jump on board with you to trans transmute whatever whatever karmic debts that you guys have accumulated here. Okay, with the Eight of Swords here and the Three of Wands, yeah, it seems like you're turning your back on this. I, I just feel like you're, you just don't want to feel stuck. You just don't want to feel constricted. You also don't want to baby somebody here, you know, uh, because it's not your job to do that. Uh, Nine of Wands here and the Page of Swords, yeah. Um, I, I just feel like you're just tired. Yeah, I just feel like you're tired. You're drained. Uh, yeah, it's like not your job to parent this individual here. You know what I mean? I feel like maybe this person is like looking for a parent. And it might stem from a trauma that they dealt with as a kid when, uh, you know, their parents were never around. Six of Wands here and the Four of Swords. Yeah, I just see you disconnecting from this individual here. You're not really seeing this being really successful here, you know? Yeah, I just feel like... I just feel like this person has hurt you consistently over and over and over and over again here. I do feel like this person lacks maturity here. This person's not really grounded. I do feel like this person's also a bit of a financial liability here because I feel like this person doesn't really have their life together here. Yeah, Nine of Wands and the Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and the Queen of Swords, uh, Page of Swords here and the Two of Pentacles. Moving forward, they will continue to talk to other people here and juggle, juggle you with other people here. I do feel like this person has a tendency to like hide their phone a lot, you know, take their phone with them when you, they go to the bathroom because I feel like they don't want you to see the messages that are coming through. I do feel like this person could be on dating apps here too. Six of Wands, Six of Wands here in the Seven of Cups, the Four of Swords and the Queen of Cups. Well, yeah, I just feel like I see you just disconnecting from the craziness here and just really ending things here. Yeah, for your own sake, for your own integrity here. Yeah, so uh, Sagittarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.